Hey Run Junkies, welcome back to episode three of Star Wars Rival Run Training. Yeah, virtual. Mm -hmm. For the last couple of weeks, I've wanted to kind of bring you and explain the training plan that I'm using, why I chose it, what I'm doing with it, but that's kind of not applicable right now because I'm not really following the training plan. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about the basics of that at the end of this video, but I'm doing the 12 days of Yeti challenge. Now this is a virtual challenge series for 12 days from December 14th all the way up to Christmas day on the 25th. What it basically means is that the race organizer is sending an email the night before with your workout for the next day. So it's a complete surprise. We have no idea what's happening. I've been doing that for this entire past week. So stick around, it's gonna be a little crazy. Okay, first day of the Yeti challenge, Monday morning. And we were waiting, it felt like forever, to get our email last night. But the nice thing is that our run this morning from the 12 days of Yeti is a 5K walk. That's actually a really great way to start this. Now here's how I'm kind of taking the plan and moving things around. So I would usually use either Tuesday, Thursday, or Sunday as my walk day. So even though it's Monday, today's a walk day. And I'm going to take the training plan that I have written out already and kind of shuffle things around to fit what I'm gonna get from the Yeti challenge. So they're all gonna count, they're just gonna count in a different gonna order. Gonna be on the treadmill today. So uh, I think I'm gonna be on the treadmill for a while still. Um, just because we have a lot of snow on the ground, well, enough snow on the ground to make it treacherous and um, it's still dark out, and I figure if I'm gonna get it in and I've got the treadmill, I'm gonna do it, so. Hi, I got a haircut. I kinda like how short it is. So tonight we're at Zoo Lights. We are doing our annual holiday tradition of freezing our buns off <laughs> as we go through the zoo to look at all the pretty lights. We'll see how long it lasts. I haven't eaten all day, so I might just get hangry by the time it's all said and done. So we got our day two email. Uh, early, like midday, and it's a five mile run, negative split each mile. So each mile is faster than the one previous, uh, which is fine. But if you don't achieve a faster mile on the the, the next mile, then you got to start over. So I'm not really sure how I feel about that. So this week is getting away from me in a big, big way. Uh, it's Wednesday morning and we are on day three of the Yeti, 12 days of Yeti. Uh, they gave us a false sense of security with that first day, 5K walk. We did a negative split run yesterday, five miles. And today we have 1,200 feet of elevation gain. That's so awesome. So there's this whole video on, on how to do it, but basically I'm just gonna get on the treadmill and I'm gonna set my incline pretty high and walk. So that's gonna be great. Guys, I'm so excited. I have a special guest. My son, the S-Man, okay? This is our Wine and Dine 5K metal box. This is enormous. <laughs> is this just for one metal? That raises the question. I've seen a lot of people getting this box specifically, regardless of what races, races they did. So I think it's meant to hold all of them, if you indeed did did all of them now we are recording this on sunday the 13th we did the wine and dine 5k virtual six weeks ago what do you think of the box i like it it seems very purple purple it is fair oh i was gonna wait wait for it it's okay so he opened it what do you think open it should i not yeah go ahead it's fine it's fine whatever oh my it was off center this, all of this, whoa, something came out of it. Okay, what do you got? I got an interesting bag of something, I don't know. Put that over there. Got a shirt. This shirt looks like a nice shirt. I'm not sure who's, which shirt is whose, so that's a good be mine. That's probably mine because it's a women's shirt. Yeah, it's a women's shirt, this is your shirt. Okay, so we get different boxes. Here. 
your packet. <laughs> okay, so open that one. What do you think? <laughs> this looks the same. This is a nicer shirt, so you don't you didn't get any of the shirts from before. But this is actually like this a nicer I do like this one. material than what they did for Marathon Weekend and Wine and Dine last year. Yeah. Um the material's a bit lighter, it feels a bit softer, more like the uh, champion shirts. It's not a champion shirt. It is an in-house run Disney shirt, but it's definitely a better weave. I love Kronk on it. I really do. What about the metal? I the metal. Gotta open the metal. I can't figure out how to open it. Said metal. Angry unboxing. <laughs> so it is only ease. It's only ease on the metal. Only ease so that's the shirt, and then what is in here? A packet of things. Oh, look, paper. Paper and some fresh express. Hats off, medals on. Congratulations. We hope you had a wickedly good time being part of the 2020 oh, virtual oh, Disney oh, oh, Wine and Dine Half Marathon Weekend. In these uncertain times, we... That should be a drinking game. We <laughs> want you to know that we're behind you, we appreciate you, and we can't wait to run with you in person once again. This comes... 24 hours after they canceled Star Wars Rival Run. So until your next Run Disney events, <laughs> enjoy the enclosed bling to show off your accomplishment. Your inner Disney villain. You earned it. Stay spooky. Stay swift. Stay, stay safe. From Farron Kelly. Well, thank you, Farron. Thank you, Farron Kelly. Foam rolling for runners. This is good, people. If you got this, this is good information. Cusco's Impossible Groove Bowl with roasted veggies and crispy quinoa. Ooh. So this is this is a recipe inspired by by um by Cusco by what's the name of the movie? Emperor's New Groove. <laughs> <laughs> Apple charcuterie board fit for a queen. That looks good too. There's some good stuff in here actually. And it doesn't feel like a waste, too much of a waste of paper. So now we know what to expect for future virtual events. One really, really big box for one medal. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. That should be our thumbnail. Probably gonna be our thumbnail. <laughs> you may go. Take your stuff with you. I'm gonna leave it here. <laughs> Not in this cluttered little office. No, you won't. <laughs> Good morning. It's Thursday. It's been one crazy week so far. Uh, the 12 Days of Yeti Challenge has been a lot of um, shorter runs, a little bit of intensity in there. So there was 1,200 feet of climbing yesterday. But today is a 5K walk, just like Monday, but I have to beat Monday's time. So that'll be fun. Um, I'm also making up some of the missed strength workouts that I'm doing. I have a variety of small, a short five minute strength workouts and it's they're intense within that five minutes, but I've missed a few of them this week. It's been so busy. I'm going to make an effort to try to get those little mini workouts in, try to cram them all in today. I don't know if I'm gonna get that far. Uh, and I am, yesterday I didn't do the mountain climbers, which are basically a step up. So you do 50 times on each leg for 100, 100 of these step ups. I didn't do them yesterday because I whipped out, but I'm going to make myself do them before the end of 12 days of year. Wearing all green today for the Sparkle Athletic theme. It's red, green, or blue, very holiday color. So even my green compression socks. I got this guy and I'm very excited about it. I didn't know what it was when it first uh, showed up, but look, what is it? This is <laughs> 12 Days of Yeti. Life is good. It's very festive. I like that. Yeah, I know. I've gotten the order. Yes, I know what you want. Mm -hmm. Yes. So here is what's happening today. It is Saturday the 19th. Uh, we are mere days away from Christmas and I haven't finished my shopping. I'm out of luck. I think it's day six. And they're calling this one today a bonk run. So you start out 
and get progressively slower each mile. Get your tail out of the way. So each mile is supposed to go 45 to 60 seconds slower. I have programmed my watch to do this, but that first mile is gonna be a pretty hefty, quick mile. We've both been on the treadmill all week. So we're finally getting outside. It's glorious, the sun is out, it's been cloudy, it's been snowy, it's still cold, but I'm just extremely excited that uh, we're gonna go out running today. I've been doing um, the Sparkle Athletic Challenge as well, and we have a theme every day. Today's the unicorn. I have multiple challenges going on at the moment. I have the December Streaker Challenge. I'm finishing off Run the Year 2020. I have, um, like I said, the unicorn run today and the 12 days of Yeti challenge. So four things going on. In addition, I'm also trying to earn some virtual Garmin badges. So I have a walking badge and a running badge and a steps badge. So I gotta finish foam rolling, finish warming up and get out the door because you, come here, make a call, come. Because this one really needs to go out. We just need to go. So a quick recap of my workouts from this week. Uh, I did a 5K walk Monday, a five mile negative split run Tuesday, 1200 feet of elevation gain on Wednesday, the 5K walk, but I gotta beat Monday's time again on Thursday. Friday was supposed to be yoga. I didn't do that at all. I really just wanted to get my streaker mile in and call it good. Then Saturday was that seven mile positive split. That was the toughest yet. Now real quick about the training plan. I'm just gonna give you a couple of details right now and I'll get into more of it probably out in January because of the 12 days of Yeti from December 14th up to the 25th. I'm really not following it at all. I mean, it's like the whole plan has gone out the window. So I'll probably line back up with the training plan basically right after Christmas, and I will explain it at that point. But a couple of quick details. It is a 20 week plan. So I started that I think on November 30th or somewhere in there. Uh, it has kind of three different logical chunks. So out of that 20 weeks, I saw kind of three blocks as I really looked at it. We're in that first block right now. It's about six weeks long and every single week looks almost exactly the same. But yeah, guys, this was a rough <laughs> week. The running at the beginning gave me a false sense of security and I'm not really sure how I feel about it. Oh yeah, start off with a 5K walk. And then we had Saturday's positive split seven miler. That was not fun. I really hope it doesn't get harder from here. <laughs> so the thing about 12 days of Yeti for me is that guys, I'm a planner. I am a planner and not knowing what tomorrow's gonna look like really has me kind of freaked out. So I'm getting more spontaneous. That's that's the takeaway I have. But guys, that is going to be it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. My question for you this week is, have you tried something that kind of stretches you a little bit mentally or physically in this past year? Please leave thoughts, questions, comments, and suggestions in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, please subscribe, tell your friends. And we'll see you on the next one. Until then, remember you have no limits. May the force be with you. Happy running.